What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today we are going to be looking at the brand new match pass and yeah I mean this is this is a fairly interesting one right because we've still got our usual regular free rewards here with the regular match pass obviously there's 50 levels of that we'll get into that in a second but we also have two free players which in my opinion are very interesting players right now we will do full reviews on these if we do end up getting the match pass I'll see later on um today whether i get the match pass or not but i have played with the standard versions of these cards and while they're not meta players i do think that they are kind of fun to play with especially pepe man i had him way back when in eFootball 2022 and he is a monster i mean he's just an absolute beast and of course you'll be able to get in a couple of sliding tackles with him and never get booked so that would be a, a very big advantage to you as well because the refs are afraid to book pepe so that is one advantage to this card but anyway right so the regular edition if you are a newcomer obviously i've mentioned this a hundred times before but if you are a newcomer this regular match pass that is already unlocked by default it's free for everybody to play you don't get any bonus with this regular match pass if you want the value match pass and the premium match pass they are coins so you can unlock it here by pressing triangle or else y on the xbox or steam and then of course you will be able to unlock these now i've already bought a match pass before so i don't get the 50 percent off for first time purchase right so if you've never bought a match pass before if you've downloaded the game yesterday and you're playing it for the very first time and stumbled on this channel welcome in and you will have a 50 percent discount on this here so this value match pass will be 250 and this one will be 500 otherwise if you're like me and you've already purchased a match pass it's going to be the full price lads which is 500 for the value and a thousand for the premium so with the regular here, I mean, looking through it, obviously, we've got the same trainers as we always have. I didn't clear the last one. I didn't have much time to play that many games, but I did still, I think, get to about level 30 or something like that. So once you do, I, I would always recommend, lads, if you're not playing the game or you're kind of busy or you're not, you know, able to get that many, I would definitely recommend you play the first 15 matches and get your five-star nominating contract. This obviously comes into it as well because we're able to get all of these players for five-star nominating contract this week. I've done reviews on all of these. And of course, there is a couple of standout performers there, Rafa Silva, Ramos, uh, Enzo and Chuamene. They're all fairly decent players. We've also got Dest and uh, a couple of other guys here that we can buy for the five-star but yeah if you are looking to get that i would definitely recommend play 15 matches right so technically when you play and you continue to play through everything else is going to be trainer xp i would definitely recommend play 30 matches in the regular and get your 60 day contract because they're going to come in very handy once they add the contract renewals back which will be sometime in april because the game will be out a full year from then and then already on we're already on level 50 which that kind of cuts it out at that where you're only going to be getting 10,000 XP and all XP for that. So the big two points I would say here is try and play 30 matches every week um, or every month with the match pass and get your contract renewal, get your five star agent here with 15 and get your four star with 10 games. Now, if you're going to go for the value one, you have the same rewards pretty much across the board for all of these value and premium ones. The value actually tracks up with the regular quite identically until you get to level 50. When you get to level 50, you start to, or 30, you start to get coins. So you get, you know, 50 coins back, you get 100 coins back, you get another 50, which is 150, and then you get another 50, which is 200 coins back. And then level 50 of the value is your 60 day contract renewal. So you're pretty much just getting 200 coins back. You're spending 500, but you're getting 200 coins back. And then also on top of that as well, you're getting all the rewards in the value and you're getting a free player. So effectively, you are paying 300 for Jota um, or for Jota and you are getting 200 coins uh, back or you're paying 500 and getting 200 coins back. So it's costing you 300. So effectively, that's what you're buying here. And then also with this one, it's the same. So the premium is slightly different. Obviously, Pepe is the star man there. And you're going to get a, a, like a lot more nominating contracts there. So you start to get a four star at 20. But the big thing with this one is you get another four star at 25. You get a five star at 30. And then you get another five star at 35. So you're getting two players that are five star here. I mean, Shuamene and uh, somebody, you know, like Ederson is going to be a beast there. Or even somebody like Ramos, you could get two of those. And Enzo Fernandez is a 94 overall. Very, very good. You're also getting your 50 coins back. And the difference between this one is that you continue to get rewards past level 50. So in total, I think you get another two. I think you get 250 coins back or 300 coins back. 
and then on level 85. Now, I reckon if you're playing the premium lads, you need to be playing the game quite a bit because, um, you know, it's a lot of games unless you're going to just play against the AI and Simum, right? So the big selling point with these or the big talking point will be the two players. So the first player that we're going to take a look at is Jota, right? Jota is a guy that I haven't really played with that much, but he's got insane stats, right? You're going to have 22 levels to go with him, which means that you'll have a lot of points, right, to, to pump into him. And just taking his base card, not even maxing him out there because we know he goes to a 94, um, which is quite decent. It's a 10 up upgrade on his overall from here. You do look at his stats there, lads, as a, as a dummy runner, and he can play left wing, left mid, SS, RCF. Very, utility, uh, very good utility player. And on top of that, you've got 80 acceleration, 79 dribbling, 79 tight possession, 77 finishing, and 78 balance. So you put just simply off the top of my kind of like train and head there, you put 10 into all of those. You put 10 into dribbling and 10 into acceleration. You were going to get, you know, offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling and acceleration in the high 80s, low 90s if you are able to train him up. And then the finishing is going to be quite high as well. So I think if you're looking for a different type of player and you want an instant player that is not Romario or somebody like that, I definitely think that Jota could be a fantastic option, especially if you're a Liverpool fan or a Portuguese fan. And then we've also got Pepe. Now, Pepe is on D form, which does make a little bit uh, of a difference here because, you know, you're not going to be buying a D form player with the premium match pass. So I would say that for now, he's a, he's a bit of a miss. I wouldn't buy the or unlock the premium match pass yet. I mean, what you could do is play as many games as you can. And then maybe like in two or three weeks time before the match pass is open, if you've got 60 or 70 games played, then you can actually buy one of these and you'll be able to get the rewards backtrack to you. But yeah, Pepe is Pepe, man. As I said, he will be a monster. I definitely don't think the match pass, the premium one is worth it. As much as I like Pepe and stuff, I genuinely don't think the premium match pass is worth it unless you're going for the five-star nominating contracts, which are pretty decent this week if you wanted to get Shuamene and Enzo or somebody like that. You also have a couple of nice five, four stars there with Dambele um, and Des and a few of those. But yeah, I mean, you could practically set your team up proper here with, um, you know, with this because you're going to get three, you're going to get three five star nominating contracts to get the free one at 15 matches and then at 30 matches and at 35, you're going to get two other ones. So you could get Ederson in goals, 95 overall goalkeeper. You could get Sergio Ramos and Shuamene or else you can get Enzo and Shuamene, and you would have a very good spine to the team. So I do I do think the value match pass is pretty decent. Jota looks good. We will have a full review on him quite soon in a training guide, and also on Pepe, but I don't think the premium one is. I'd skip that, but I would definitely get the value one if you have the coins, especially if you have the 50% discount. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content. Keep the feedback and suggestions coming on how to improve the videos. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.